time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. I want to fly like an eagle to kill Tony. Fly like an eagle, let kill Tony carry me. I want to fly like an eagle. I want more YouTube Theater 2024. 32 days left. 32 days left. And another day gone, and another day gone. 32 days left. Till Kill Tony YouTube Theater. 32 days left. All right. Oh, Cole. Oh, you stop being weird, Cole. What's up, Jason? I've already completed like three Uber trips and I'm in Santa Monica. I wanted to check in with you guys and I want to show you. I want to drive down to the beach at Santa Monica and show you before I leave this stream today. Oh, Bo Bandy, hey. Oh, God. I'm, I'm glad I creep everyone out on the show. All right. Nick. What's up? What's up, guys? Wow. I hope you guys are having a good day. Daniel, what's up? All right. Eight people already watching. Yeah. Excited to check in with you. I did like three trips already this morning. It's a beautiful day. I'm in Santa Monica. Um, I want to drive you down to where the beach is and show you some stuff. And I don't know how long I can stay with you. I really need to get back to work, but it's just hard for me to make it through the whole Uber shift without checking in because I get bored. So, you know, um, I was gonna do a stream last night. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of depressed. I got this huge cold sore, cold sore on my lip that I'm sure you guys have seen. It's just, I mean, I get it. I usually. I'll get this like once a year, maybe twice a year. And some are worse than others, but this is a bad one. And it's just, I have to just, it, it just can come at any time and it, it's going to be, I just have to let it run its course. It's like a whole week of ugliness. I'm just going to look like shit until it passes. So, um, Good thing I wasn't some didn't have to do something important this week where I needed to look good, but um, I was gonna come on the stream last night. I just I wanted to sing all these songs. I just I said I can't do it. It's just how can I be? No one's gonna take me seriously with this on my lip. But I did want to check in with you guys and see what's happening. And um, in a few minutes, I'm gonna drive down to Santa Monica to show you so that's something you can look forward to oh 12 people watching what is up brothers and sisters oh matthew yes i am the new jim morrison and you know that it would be untrue if i were to say to you girl we couldn't get much higher Come on, Tony, light my fire. Come on, Tony, light my fire. Come on, Tony, light my fire. Time to set the night on fire. <laughs> Where are you, Tony? <laughs> the countdown is back. Ooh. And you know it can never be whack. The countdown is back. The Kill Tony countdown is back. The countdown is back. Ooh! And you know it can never be whack. The countdown is back. Ooh! The Kill Tony countdown is back. I could climb any mountain, sail across the stormy seas. If that's what it takes, Tony, together we'll make history 
And I guess it's just the woman in you that brings out the man in me. I know I can't help myself. You're more in the world to me. The Kill Tony Countdown. It's Kill Tony Countdown time. The Kill Tony Countdown. It's Kill Tony Countdown time. The Kill Tony Countdown. 32 days I left. The Kill Tony Countdown. 32 days I left. Yeah. Oh. The Kill Tony Countdown. It's Kill Tony Countdown time. The Kill Tony Countdown. It's Kill Tony Countdown time. Oh, Red Bone's mom in the house. All right. No, I'm not going to drink and drive, Nick. I don't do nothing when I'm doing Uber. I'm completely sober. Oh, Jane wants the sleep stream. Yeah, that could come at some point. I was going to do a stream last night and do a sleep section, but guys, I got this huge cold sore on my lip. It's just, it's just hard to come on camera now and this, this is HD quality. I mean, it's just hard. I got to, this, it takes a week for this shit to pass. But until then, I look like shit. I look ugly. I know you guys don't really care, but it's just hard. Oh, God. Okay, see... Oh, how old was I in high school? I graduated graduated when I was 18. Oh, yeah, I could wear a fake mustache. Yeah, that would be funny. Oh, uh, you want me to do a sleep stream right now? Should I just fall asleep now and just wait till the cops come wake me up and tell me to move or somebody tells me to move? Or they tow my car or whatever. Uh. Oh, you can't even notice it, AJ. Thanks for being nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want to see my feet? Oh, God. That's a compliment. Oh, gosh. Oh, Red Ben's mom said you pulled over and taken a lot of naps. Oh, man, guys. I know that last stream on Sunday must have been weird for you guys to watch, but I'm glad you saw it because it's just, that's, I'm showing you what the entertainment business is like. It's just a tough business. It's just, and the relationships are even tougher, you know, just, I mean, relationships in general are tough, guys. I mean, it's just, you never can trust them. I mean, I'm telling you, you guys, Everyone out there, you have friends, you have family members that are close to you that maybe in a year from now you won't be talking to anymore. It just takes one argument. And I don't care who it is. It could be a family member. It could be a close friend. It could be a friend you've had for years and years. It could end at any time. You're one bad argument away or one bad interaction So, um... I hope you guys saw the countdown picture today and the community section on YouTube um, for 30 do, 32 days left. It was a, it's a photo that Dirty Crabber took at Sears in 1991. It's a great shot. Jennifer Corbin and Mary look so pretty. The, the Seafood Review dancers are with me and the rest of the band and my late brother Chad that's no longer with us that died in 2003. But I hope you guys, for, for those of you who haven't checked it out yet, I'm putting a countdown photo every day in the community section on my YouTube channel. You should really check that out. It's a fun part of what I'm doing here. But, um, yeah, 
it was that was a trippy stream the last one because at the end I actually thought for a moment that when people were putting there was one person putting a comment under the name Red Band and I saw the cat in there and it, it seemed like I recognized it from his channel and somehow I, I got it in my mind that it was Red Band was making comments on the chat on the stream and then I asked someone to confirm and someone confirmed that it was they went to they said they went to they commented that they went to his channel it was his channel and I couldn't go to his channel because I'm on my phone for some reason when you're on your phone you can't go and see what the channels look like of people making comments in the chat when I'm home I can do it but not when I'm on my phone and I thought somebody that was on a desktop computer was confirmed that it was Red Band's channel and I just keep hoping that Red Band will see the light but he's a stubborn person so I guess maybe that's never going to happen just he's got this whole tribe of people in the Kill Tony fan base that love the early air the early Kill Tony with the the Iron Patriot era they love it there's a whole tribe of people and I don't know why you want to alienate that that tribe it's just going to cause problems for you why do you want to go into the future and have that tribe keep asking you about the Iron Patriot? You have to keep saying, oh, he did Iron Man, and then he went insane. That's what you're just going to keep saying, I guess. But I, I'm not going to let it bother me, guys. Regardless of what Tony and Brian do, it's not going to bother me. I My goal is to build this YouTube channel with you guys. I'm having fun with you guys. We're building this channel Regardless of what happens with Tony and Brian, it doesn't matter. I stick by the philosophy that as Kill Tony gets bigger, this channel will get bigger. More people find out about Kill Tony, it's good for us. Because then they go back to the beginning, they discover the Iron Patriot, then they, then they um, find my YouTube channel. So it's all good. Somebody made a comment a couple days ago saying, Oh, you need to go to Austin and put your name in the bucket. You need to put the work in. I've already put the work in. That's why I have this YouTube channel. I got over 1,500 subscribers, almost 800 videos, thousands of hours of watch time. Once you get to this point, you'll see how much work it takes to get to this point. So I put the work in. And I don't need to go to Austin. I don't need to go anywhere. I'm right here on YouTube with you guys. This is my channel. I'm independent. Oh, Cole. You need to go to therapy for even saying, for even making a comment like that. What are you thinking? Coming up in the house of Iron Patriot, making a bullshit comment like that. You trolls, I'll tell you about, let me talk to you trolls and haters. You guys need to get way more creative. These comments about you need to go to, mental, you need to go to therapy, you have mental issues, you're insane. Come on get more creative it's getting old all the bullies online they just they've been doing that for so long it's so easy to say someone has mental illness or is in denial or needs help or needs therapy and needs to go see a psychiatrist it's so easy to do that get more creative my god it's unbelievable I'm 57. I've been in the entertainment business a long time. Come at me with something more thought out. You gotta keep coming at me with these ignorant comments. Don't waste my time. I moved on a long time ago. That's why I have my own channel now. Oh, thanks, Spooky. I'm in Santa Monica, Spooky. I'm about to take you on a drive down to the where the beach is. I'm going to show you all the action down there. 
I'm, I just dropped someone off. I've had about three trips today. I just dropped someone off in Santa Monica, but I'm, I'm kind of north of where the beach is. I'm gonna, I'm about to drive you down there and show you this. I mean, what other streams you get this kind of action? Oh, this is cringe. Well, get used to it. Oh, thanks, Jason. That's a big compliment considering how many streams there are. Oh, you want to go to the pier? Okay. Yeah, I'm about to take you down where the pier is. Guys, nobody knows where this thing's going. Even Tony and Brian, they don't know. That's the one thing that I have that that makes it impossible for me for them to dispose of the Iron Patriot. I have the suit. So anybody that wants to in the future, anybody that wants to do a movie about the Kill Tony story and get actors and stuff, which you got at some point you got to do that. It's such a great story. You got to make a movie out of it and get actors. But anybody planning to make a movie in the future, you got to go through me cuz I have the suit. Unless you want to make it suck. If you do the beginning episodes when we are at the at the comedy store, if you don't have the real suit, it's going to it's going to be terrible. I mean, you could try to make another suit. It's not going to look the same though. And try to get someone to wear it and do it. They they're not going to be able to do it like me. So, and and the documentary. The documentary ain't going to be worth shit without commentary from me. I have a better memory than Tony and Brian. Just, I don't think Brian's thought this out well. What it's going to be like in the future if he keeps going down this road. I just keep hoping he'll see the light. But he's a very stubborn man. So, um, let me see before I leave if there's any more. Oh, Nick, you're wrong. Nick. The only reason I'm going to respond to your comments, Nick, is just to help anybody else that's having the same kind of confusion as you. That suit cost me $4,500. I, I looked on the internet for years. When, when I first got to Hollywood in 2000, I started doing Iron Man in Hollywood in like September 2008 with my first Iron Man suit. It was like a plastic suit. And I spent all... I spent... All the, t- all the way up until I got the Iron Patriot suit, I was on the internet all the time just looking for, for possible costumes and suits that I could get. It's not easy to find that shit. And then I finally found John Catholic Christensen, him and his partner Bruce. They are the ones who made the Iron Patriot suit in a workshop in England. That's a professional sculptor. It was 4,500 to, com- to commission that sculptor. And then another 600 to ship it to LA. So now after I left, after I left Kill Tony, after Kill Tony 34, Brian bought a cheap Iron Patriot suit on Amazon. Now that's the cheap suit. And then he had other comedians dress up in it for, for, a, for months, for a couple months until Pat Reagan came. But, um, yeah, that, I'm a professional cosplay artist. I'm not one of those fools. That's what Brian's trying to portray me as just one of those people that dress up as Spider-Man on the boulevard that don't, don't put much into it. All the cheap outfits you see through the years of people on Hollywood Boulevard. I'm professional. I took it to a whole nother level, but I get, a lot of times I get lumped in with all those other casual cosplay artists. I wouldn't even call them artists. They're just, a lot of them are just hustling to get money out there. I get lumped in with them. Yeah, I bet there's a sick one for 14 grand on eBay. Oh, uh, you think the other comedians are better than the suit? Well, it's all about the visual. If you were at the show, you would have noticed the big drop-off in the visual. Went from a 
five thousand dollar suit to a to to a like one hundred or I don't know how much that suit was that Red Band bought off of Amazon one or two hundred dollars at the most. But um, see, a lot of people didn't notice the drop off that much because they were just watching the video with the with the lighting that wasn't that great in the belly room. So. Um, that's why they didn't see the drop off. But if you were at the comedy store, you noticed a huge drop off from going from my suit to what they went to after that. The, ever since I left the show, they haven't had any awesome visual. That's what I provided that nobody else has given them is an awesome visual. And if you don't think an awesome visual is important, you're crazy. That's the that you could argue the awesome visual is the number one most important thing. Oh, Cole. Oh, Dr. Emma Smith, I don't know who you are. I don't know therapy. This this YouTube channel, the, these streams I do, they, they give me all the therapy I need. I get the, that, that last stream I did on Sunday, it's, it's great. For me, I need to vent and get it out. That's what therapy is. That's what this channel is. It's therapy for me. I get it all out. I get out my feelings. I'm honest with you guys. And then also, I build up this YouTube channel. It's a beautiful thing. I get my therapy and I, I mean, we're already up to, um, we're up over 30, we're up over $32 in ad revenue from the Google ads. Which it doesn't seem that much, but we're in the game now. Shit, I've generated already two or three hundred dollars in money. How many of you guys have got paid by YouTube? It's not easy to do. I got over fifteen hundred subscribers, so I've been working on this, guys. It's, it hasn't been easy. So I'm just gonna have to be patient. That was a sign What when I was venting on Sunday, that was a sign that I'm having problems with, with enough, having enough patience. I told you in this life, you got to have a full tank of patience. But um, just, you people got to get more creative than, than the comments about, about you need therapy, you, you have mental illness, you're delusional. Come on, guys, get more creative. That's the oldest way to bully someone on the internet or, or put someone down or, or just, it's just the easy, it's just so easy. And people have been doing it for so long. Just stop, stop. It's unbelievable. Okay. Oh gosh. God, I thought the haters, that's exactly what they want. They want to see you spiral down into insanity. Yeah. It's just, that's, that's why, guys, I have to be so secure in myself. Because it's just hard. If I'm not secure in myself, I'm in trouble. Because there's, there's a lot of people who think I'm a legend, but then there's a lot of people that think I need, you know, I have mental health problems. And a lot of those people don't really think that, they're just being mean and they wanna put me down. They're hating on me. They're, they're jealous or whatever. So that's another hard thing to figure out. But it's just, I don't need to worry about it. I just need to be secure in myself, keep building this channel, keep interacting with you guys. I love everybody that comes on the chat. I, I read, if I don't see your comments now, I, I'll see them later when I get home and watch it. But, um, oh, Dr. Emma, that's like fake sympathy. That's another way that, I, I, don't, I don't like that. When people give you sympathy, but then you can tell they have no respect. And you haven't listened to, you haven't listened to all my points. That's what bothers me too. I mean, everybody in entertainment deals with that. You just people will watch just one section or sh of your one section of your show, listen to a few things you say, and then they miss all the other points you make. No. Yeah, I need to go, guys. This is what happens. I love to check in with you guys, but then I 
never go back to work. Oh, yeah, that's funny, Spooky. Jeff needs to visit a Thai massage parlor with blacked out windows. That's funny. Oh, yeah. Even Nick, even Nick thinks that's a good suggestion. Well, yeah, I don't go to massage parlors, guys. I would never spend money on something like that. But, I mean, anybody who wants to go, I, I understand... I understand the desire that that would be really relaxing, but that's just that's not something I would do. But it's funny you would say that. Hey, Rex Bats, what's up? Yeah, I'm okay. Well, okay. Yeah, maybe I'd go to the Thai massage parlor if I get a little bit of a happy ending. <laughs> Where are you, Tony? <laughs> Tony, Tony. That's not nice of you, Tony. <laughs> oh, it's going good. I'm in Santa Monica. Yeah, I'm about to take you. I'm going to drive you over to Santa Monica now. I want to show you. Okay. Well, I'll see you, Nick. Nick, just try to relax. It's just... I mean, we... we all of us are insane in some way. You can't be on this planet experiencing this reality and not escape, escape insanity completely. It's just, we're, we're all control freaks. We want to be in control and we can't have complete control here. Even Robert Downey Jr., I heard him say one time that, you know, everything is negotiable except death and the end of your life. You can negotiate every, anything, buy anything with money, but all of us are at this point, for some reason, we're in this huge waiting room on this big planet, waiting to go to the next step. We don't know what happens after death, but we're just, it's like we're at this huge bus stop waiting and we don't know when we're gonna go on to the next level but we're just doing our best until we do. Oh gosh, okay. Mr. Pink. I'm just, yeah, but there's, people have all different kind of motives. Sometimes hater, haters pretend like they have sympathy, but then they have no respect. So, um, just guys, just give me a little credit. Do you think if I was insane and had mental issues, you really think I could have got this YouTube channel to the point it is now? Do you know, you know how much hard work this has taken to make all these videos, sing all these songs? And then somebody's making a comment that I need to go get therapy or I have mental illness. Guys, you gotta listen to all the points I'm making. This isn't all me. Just cause Tony and Brian are making all the money now doesn't mean they're perfect and they know everything and I know nothing. Just everybody's gotta relax. Nobody knows where this is going. We just gotta keep, I'm riding along on the boat with them. I'm riding on the Kill Tony boat right now. It's just we're all gonna we're all going forward into this and we don't know what's gonna happen. But I just I mean if they want me there's gonna be more and more people wanting to hear from me in the future. If they want me to just keep saying, oh, they won't talk to me and I don't know why, then okay. We'll just keep going down that road. If Brian wants to be stubborn about this, I'll just keep saying saying, Oh, well, it's it, they have issues with me. They they won't they refuse to talk to me, so until they do, go take up any issues you have with them. There's nothing I could do. So, um, I'm just telling you guys, I've been at this game a long time. I'm, I'm very healthy mentally and physically now. Yeah, I get down sometimes. I mean, that's, that's part of life. And I get frustrated, you know, 
I would, I wish Brian and Tony would see the light and have the right attitude about this and induct the kill, induct the Iron Patriot in the Kill Tony Hall of Fame. But I'm not sitting here waiting for that to happen. I'm moving forward. We're all moving forward to this YouTube channel. And for for those of you that are really are concerned about me, just don't worry. I'm okay. Yeah, there might be some times I don't feel like doing this stream, but it's I'm 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 making. I have money in the bank and I'm I'm doing well with my job. So, and I'm in America, which is a great country to live in. So things things aren't that bad. Yeah, I wish I'm like everybody. I wish I could get some stardom and fame. That that'd be great. Here in my car, I feel safest of all. I can lock all the doors. It's the only way to live in cars. Down out. Bow, 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 bow. Here in my car, I can only receive. I can listen to you. It keeps me stable for days in cars. Bow, bow. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, thank you for that, Red Band's mom. Stop. Oh. Uh, Dr. Emma Smith, you just, you don't know enough about me to be making those kind of suggestions, but... It's, it's, it's not that big of a deal. I'm, I appreciate you. Anybody that's in the chat now, I appreciate you watching and if you do if you have legitimate concern I appreciate that too but just no I'm I'm okay I'm I'm strong physically and mentally it's just when you saw me on the stream Sunday it's just I I'm just you got to realize I've been you know this story has been going on a long time but this YouTube channel is what is the best thing I did because I moved on a long time ago and started making my own videos. That's why I have this forum. I could, I could, I'm going to have this forum as long as I keep doing this channel. It's, I have a connection. My microphone isn't as big as Tony and Brian's, but I, I still have a good size microphone. So I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. They can do what they want to do. It doesn't, I'm, I'm independent now. Regardless of what they do, it doesn't matter. I just gotta keep on, keep on working. I'm doing the same thing as every other show on this planet does. You just have to keep interacting with your audience, trying to find out what they like. Keep doing, doing it, doing, improving your show, doing things that your audience likes. You don't have to do everything because you have to explore things on your own and, you know, I got to express my creativity. You know, I keep smoking the sativa. That keeps giving me ideas. So as long as I can't keep having ideas. I mean, I wish, there's a side of me that wished I could have stopped, but I can't stop because I keep getting new ideas. Rolling down the street. Smoking in dough, sipping on gin and juice. Laid back with my mind and my money and my money and my mind. Rolling down the street, smoking in dough, sipping on gin and juice. Laid back with my mind and my money and my money and my mind. Yeah, you're right. Losing my brother was traumatic. 
Guys, I, I think everybody needs to be their own psychiatrist. I'm always working things out in my mind. I'm trying to, when something's bothering me, I try to get to the root of, of what's happening and try to figure out why is that bothering me. Everybody should be doing that. Everybody should reflect on what happened during their day, what they could have done better. If they're having, if they're having bad thoughts, you gotta be a, you gotta play, you gotta be a psychiatrist for your own soul and figure out what's going on, what's wrong. This, this, I told you, this stream is therapy for me. It gets me a chance to vent. When you saw me say all that stuff on the Sunday stream, that's good for me to get that out and vent. It's, 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 it can be stressful, though, doing these streams, though, guys, because I'd like to see you guys try to, try to come on here and be honest. Be honest like I have. Be honest. All these hours and hours I've talked to you guys, and I try to be honest about my feelings. It's not easy. Because then you, I get off and I think, oh, that might be misunderstood what I said about that. And, oh, I forgot to make that point. And it, you know, it's all about the details and stuff. So just I, I wish you guys could try what I'm doing and see what it's like. It's, it's pretty stressful, especially in this age we're living in where, I mean, these videos could be used against me years from now. Who knows? I mean you say all this stuff, it could really be misunderstood if somebody just takes one point and leaves out the other points. Uh, my brother Chad took his life in 2003 when we lived in Dallas. He was on prescription medicine. He was going through different things and we don't for sure know exactly what happened, but, um, it was that was really hard for my family to go through. We're we're still my family will never completely recover from that. But I mean, we tried to move on the best we can we could. But wow, that was that was a tough one. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys now. I, 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 I was, I was gonna go quicker, but I somehow got stuck here talking more. But that was good for us to. I hope I, I got. I always try to get some points out that maybe I haven't discussed before, and I tried to answer some questions and just talk to you guys about what happened on Sunday and how I'm how I'm feeling today and my perspective on things. Okay. But anyway, let's, let's, let's go. I'm going to take you, I want to take you down to, um, Santa Monica now before I leave to go back. I got to go back and start doing Uber again and finish the day, but I've already stayed too long, but that's what happens every time I, I have, I have fun talking to you guys. I, I appreciate it. Everybody that's on here. I appreciate it. What, whatever, even if you make a comment, that maybe I don't agree with, it's good because it gets me a chance to talk about it and then other people that maybe have the same question, they can get an answer too, so. Okay, here we go, guys. Taking you down to Santa Monica now, let's see what happens. Right now, this is 20th Street, yellow light right away. Should I go through this yellow light? Yes, I should. Okay, I got a bad habit sometimes of going through yellows that turn into red, but just when you're an uber driver you just get anxious but I, I i don't do it all the time but okay let me see here what happens okay we're gonna get on the freeway the 10 freeway the famous 10 freeway that goes to santa monica okay we're lucky there's not any bad traffic like if we were right now, if this was like the, a Saturday or a Sunday, this would be a lot more people coming down here, but. <laughs> here he comes, here comes Speed Racer. He's a demon on wheels. He's a demon and he's gonna be chasing after someone. He's gaining on you, so you better look a lot. 
He's busy revving up the powerful Mach 5. And when the odds are against him and there's dangerous work, you bet your life speed racer will see it through. Go speed racer, go speed racer, go speed racer, go, go. He's often flying as he guns the car around the track. He's jamming down the pedal like he's never coming back. Adventures waiting next ahead. Go speed racer, go speed racer, go speed racer, go. Go speed racer, go speed racer. Go speed racer, go, go. <laughs> Hello, darling me. <laughs> Where are you, darling me? Say you don't know me or recognize my face. Say you don't care to go to that kind of place. Knee deep in the hoopla, sinking in your fight. Too many runaways eating up the night. Marconi plays the mamba. Listen to the radio, don't you remember? We built Kill Tony, we built Kill Tony on rock and roll. We built Kill Tony, we built Kill Tony on rock and roll. Built Kill Tony, we built Kill Tony on rock and roll. Okay. Coming down to Colorado Boulevard. I'm gonna show you the front view too once we get up here. Getting down to Colorado, I'm gonna turn left. This is where the train ends. There's a train that goes all the way downtown that ends over here. Starts here downtown, comes from downtown all the way here. <laughs> where are you, Tony? Oh, dinger dangler in the house. I'm taking you to Santa Monica. It's a very nice day. I'm right here in Santa Monica. <laughs> Where are you, Tony? <laughs> okay, let me turn this around and show you the angle this way. Look what I got going here, guys. Look at this. You like that, huh? You like that? What streams give you that view? Okay, we're coming up to the Santa Monica Pier. Right here, guys. Not a cloud in the sky, brothers and sisters. Oh, there's a truck blocking this right lane up here. Look at that. I can't stand when that happens. This food truck still dropping food at this restaurant, taking up this lane. So now we're all bottlenecked. That's what every, I'm driving around every day. It's, it's, it's always, it's fear of the bottleneck. The orange cones that take you down from three lanes to two, two lanes to one, three lanes to one. I'm gonna go down here and turn right and then I'm gonna go over and show you Third Street Promenade. Just couldn't stand it, guys. I had to take a break to, to today and check in with you guys and see what's happening uh, this might take us i hate when i have to wait more than one cycle to get through a light that's just i mean i have so many pet peeves guys any uber driver you talk to has a book of pet peeves I mean, anybody that drives has that book. 
Okay. See, if you come at, to California at this time on vacation, you're taking a chance, but because the weather could turn bad at any time. But if you came at this time and planned your vacation weeks or months ago, you got lucky, because this is, right now it's good. But I think it's gonna rain again this weekend. See, we gotta wait for another cycle to get through here. There's a restaurant over here on the left. You can't, I don't think you can see it, but it's called The Lobster. Be fun to eat there, right on the beach. It's also hard to make a right turn here as you got so many people walking. You gotta be so careful out here driving around LA. I gotta be careful when I'm doing this stream with you guys and make sure I pay attention. Crazy, but that's how it goes. Millions of people living as foes. Maybe it's not too late to learn how to love and forget how to hate. Mental chains not healing, driving me insane. I'm going to kill Tony, and you took the inner. And I can't explain. I'm going to kill Tony, and you took the inner. Wow, 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 wow. Mental chains not healing. I know what I prefer. I'm going to kill Tony, and you took the inner. I'm going to kill Tony and you to be in a hurry. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I don't, I don't. Ocean front, and now I'm past Second Street. This is just like downtown Santa Monica, and okay, this is Third Street Promenade here. See, this is a but there's a bunch of shopping. See over here on this street, Third Street Promenade shopping. Okay, let's go far. Now I'm heading up. Okay, let me turn right here on Fourth Street. I'm on Broadway at 4th, turning right on 4th Street. Let me see this. That. I'm gonna show you this other side where I usually go drop people off. Yeah, guys, I'm going to 
gonna have to get back to work, but let me show you this. Let me take you over this side and show you. I'm gonna show you where, if it's really, it's really busy. When it's real busy to drive in where we just were, I'll take people in another way, this back way over here. Some people live for the power. Some people live for the fame. Some people live just to play the game. Some people think that the physical things define what's within been there before that life's a bore so full of the superficial some people want it all but I don't want nothing at all if it ain't you Tony if I ain't got you Tony some people want diamond rings some just want everything, but everything means nothing if I ain't got you. You're pulling petals off a flower trying to get your way. Keep pulling till it says what you want to say. Girl, you can pick a field full of daisies, but he'd still be my baby. And I know you can hardly wait till I'm away from him Instinctively I know what you're thinking You'll be giving him an open imitation But my Tony won't be taken in You can bite your cherry lips Try to tempt him with a sweet kiss You can blurt your pretty eyes he ain't got his hands tied, no chains to unlock. So free to do what he wants, he's into what he's got. Tony loves me, he loves you not. No matter what you do, he's never gonna be with you. He's into what he's got. Tony loves me. He loves you not. Okay, here, look at this over here. That's the beach right there. See the beach out there? The water, the ocean. Okay, now I'm gonna turn this way. See, I usually, this is the back way I usually bring people in when it's real busy. I bring them in and take them down here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is about to be over. I gotta go back to work and start doing Uber again. But oh yeah, this is the pier from another angle. Let me see that out that way is the Santa Monica Pier. Okay, this person stopped. See, they got a merry-go-round. They got a Ferris wheel and a little mini roller coaster. See, that thing up there in front is where people walk down to the pier, up there. Let me drive down here and show you this real quick.
there's a place you can get snow cones right there. Oh God, I gotta get back. I cannot go down in here. Oh God, okay. Oh well, guys, I gotta go. That was fun though. Here, I'll dry a little longer. This is the road we were on before, Ocean, Ocean Avenue. This goes all the way down, up and down the beach. But yeah, I got, one time I got it, when I first started doing Uber, I got a legal, I got, I did a, a U-turn on Ocean Avenue here and a motorcycle cop came up and gave me a ticket. That was a depressing day. It's like three, four hundred dollars by the time you get that ticket taken care of. Now we're going down the other way on ocean. God, wouldn't wouldn't not, wouldn't life just be nice if I could just do this all day with you guys? Just drive around. But I can't. I gotta get back to work and start doing Uber trips. I've already already done with this stream. I've already I've already made the day hard, much harder to make money. I, I mean, I'll, I'll do I'll do okay today, but I'm not gonna make as much because I took all that time for the stream, but it's worth it though. It's an investment in the future and I, I have fun doing it, so it's worth it to me. I'm gonna go park here and just, okay guys. Hope you guys had fun with that. Let me let me see what's happening here before I leave. Oh god. Oh, what's up, Ty Lopez? I hope you guys enjoyed my time in Santa Monica. Oh, you want me to go to the pizza spot? No, it's too early for a GH. I can't do any smoking, drinking. When I'm doing Uber, I gotta be sober. Yeah, thanks for all the comments, everyone. You people are beautiful. Thank you. If I don't see your comment now, I'll, I'll, I, I usually watch these videos later it's fun to watch them later so I'll, I'll see the comments later if i didn't see it now that would be funny if that was the real tony tony should be coming on this stream helping me i came on his show for for many for several episodes many episodes so, Tony, it's time for you to pay me back and come on my stream. Come on my show. Yeah, I didn't, Nick, I didn't show you as much of the pier. I, I can't get out and walk around. I was just, I was, I drove right towards the pier, but you probably couldn't see that much. Yeah, I mean, I know it'd be good if I could go out and walk and, there's other streams. I did a stream earlier last last year. I did a stream where I went to Santa Monica and I walked out on the pier, I believe, and, and showed it to you. So if you want to go back and visit that one. But um, yeah, this was kind of a different one because I was in the car. Oh, Antonio, what's up? Oh, yeah, Dinger Dangler. I didn't fall for the didn't fall for the fake name. Oh, Ty, thanks for the compliment. My my glasses look good. Yeah, I'm, I'm depressed now. I got this cold sore on my lip. It's really hard to look good when you got a huge cold sore on your lip. I get, I get these things like once a year. And you never know when it's going to happen. Here I am on HD video 4K. Oh, I should grow a beard. Yeah, I really have never 
grown it out long. I mean, it starts bothering me when it gets too long. I mean, I, I get grow out some, but... Oh, Jason. I... Uh, it was nice to hear that David Lucas knew the Iron Patriot, but I don't know if he has any respect for me or he didn't... I just... There was... That that part of the interview was ripe, was so ripe for more to be talked about. On the, when when Brian says we had a guy that did Iron Man and then he went insane, that was just so ripe for a conversation. If David would have went deeper into that and said, "Oh, really? He went insane? What happened?" You know, that's usually the most interesting topic is to go into why someone went insane on it, especially if it involves a show and entertainment and rock and roll comedy or whatever. But David didn't want to penetrate deeper with any more questions. I don't know. I don't know. It's, I, I wouldn't think David has, if his, his best friend is Brian and he, that's the info he gets about me from Brian, he, David, I don't think he probably has a very positive image of me, but... I don't know. Maybe he has some respect. I don't know. It was nice to hear... Jason, just my answer to that question. It was nice to hear him say the Iron Patriot. It's, it's cool to hear he knows me, but I don't know what he thinks about me. Um, or how much he knows. I don't know if he's ever watched those beginning episodes or what he thinks or so... Oh, Brian is ticklish. Yeah, Brian tickled me on one of the early Kill Tonys. He was, he loved to, he loved to do those. He loved to play around with me. Yeah, it would, it, RP, it, it would be epic if David had me on his fishing show, but it's, that's, that's been the problem for all these years. I'll, I got, I'm not in the loop. None of those, none of the people on Kill Tony, or they've never invited me on their shows. I can't get in contact with them. I'd, I'd love to be in the loop. That's the, that's what makes it so hard building this channel. I'm not in the loop. If I had the other people from Kill Tony the, 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 that have been on the show and have been regulars or whatever, or guests, and then they had me on their shows, that would be, that would be nice. That would, that would, really help but I'm not in the loop so and I don't know I think I don't think I think they might be scared to have me on because Tony might not like it or something I don't know I don't know I don't want to I don't know for sure why I'm not I mean I've been I've been out of the scene for a long time so I could see why But I mean, yeah, it would, it would be great. I would love to be on David Lucas's fishing thing and tell him about all my memories at the beginning of the show. And but I don't know if he might he might he might not want to do that because he that because Brian wouldn't like it or something. Who knows what's going on in their world? How they perceive what's happening with me and how many I don't know how many fans come up to them or ask about me or if, if they do at all or if they've done it more through the years or whatever or it'd be it'd be very interesting to talk to them but I just I, I can't get in contact with them I mean it's like any most famous people are, are impossible to get in contact with even people that are b-listers you can't even get in contact with them because they're just get they just get hit by too many comments and too many messages they just give up so, um, oh, oh, Spooky, you would guess half of the questions they get asked are about Iron Patriot. I wonder if when Brian and Tony go on interviews, I wonder if they tell the person before it starts, if they say no questions about Iron Patriot or don't try it or I don't know. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I'm sure they have, I, I'm sure most of the time, I mean, most people they meet don't know anything about me. They don't know anything about the beginning of the show. And Tony and Brian don't go out of their way to explain it. If someone's ignorant and they don't know anything about the history of the show, then they don't, 
they don't clue them in. They just let them stay. They let them be confused, and and or if they don't know, you know, there's just a lot of just different inside jokes with Kill Tony and people that know the history, the hardcore fans that go back to the beginning. They call it the Iron Patriot era, but. There's a lot of people that know nothing about the beginning and have no interest in the beginning of the show. So, it's just all relative. There's There are a lot of people that know about me, but also, it's true, there's a lot of people that don't know about me. A lot more that don't know than do know. Yeah, I did a, yeah, Kettle, I did, I've done like, I've only done three trips. I need to get back to driving and finish out the day. I, It just happens every time. I, I just say I'm going to come on here just for a, a short time and check in and then go, but then I just start having fun interacting with you guys, and then I don't want to leave. I just want to stay here all day and just, I just wish life was this easy where I just drive around and act like a rock star and do this stream and, but, no, I got to get back. Okay, guys, I hate to leave, but Oh, Matt RD says move to Austin. I wish I could, but I don't know. I don't see that happening anytime soon. I used to, I lived in Austin. In 1985, I went to the University of Texas in Austin. In 1985, the whole fall until like January, and then I went back to Dallas. But So I was living in Round Rock, though, and then I was commuting into school in Austin. But I have a lot of memories of Austin, but... I haven't been there since probably the late 80s. I, there was another trip I went down there. But it's been a long time. Or no, it was the probably 94, like mid-90s. I, I went to Austin on a trip one time. But that, and then, that was probably the last time I was there. Oh. Yeah, I'm going right now. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thanks. Yeah, this guy's telling me to move. Okay, guys, 18 watching. I really wish I didn't have to leave. I love you guys. I wanted to check in with you. I know that, that stream on Sunday was pretty bizarre, so I wanted to check in with you, touch base again, tell you I'm okay. We're going to keep going forward with this YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm going to be getting a burrito at El Pollo Loco probably in about an hour or so. Oh, I miss you too. See you, pal. Thanks, Antonio. Yeah. But, um, I'm so glad we've had this time together Just to have a laugh or sing a song Seems we just get started and before you know it Comes a time we have to say so long <laughs>